so now what we need to do we need a database for testing purpose for development purpose for our practice purpose we will be using post GRES SQL database it's an open source which means it's free most of the things we need free guys yeah so we need a post GRE SQL database for ourselves how do you set up this database it's available free of cost just go to google post GRE SQL dot org that's their official website where we can go and we can say download you know the best part it looked like an elephant ye dekho iska photo kya elephant jaisa spring logo is like a leaf and PostgreSQL is like an elephant it's also known as elephant database i love elephants guys i love them i did a elephant ride in kerala last last to last month i've been to kerala so if you've been to kerala don't miss out the elephant ride in kerala very 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 amazing amazing ride so this is where i remember postgre sql database when i see an elephant yeah so now you can download and you can go to windows and then you have download installer and then you can download and install this database from from here in your computer so one quick quick uh, <laughs> input here if you're using version 15 your windows must be windows 11 yes windows 11 if you're using windows then use windows 11 for 15 version or go with 13 version if your windows you are not on windows 11 yet you are still on windows 10 or older versions go with the number 13 or number 12 yeah then you can download the package from here and install in your computer so it's a typical installer and it will silently start your database behind the scene you see it is an exe file just download and install i've already done that i've already done in my computer yeah. so once it get installed in your computer how do you access this database so guys just to access any database you need to so what it does it installs a database server in your computer the actual elephant database post sql database and to connect to this database work with this database test this database you know everything they also install a tool called pg admin tool pg admin tool this is a tool which is used to connect to this database and access your database test your database work with your database like that pg admin tool so this is what you need to actually do install the pg admin tool will get installed automatically together with the database server and database will already already start it will start automatically behind the scene and we use this tool to connect to this database so i've already installed let me show you the pg admin tool where it is so i'm going to go back to my computer in my downloads folder i will have the the postgres database already installed here it is yeah i go inside i open the uh, pg admin for tool you see here this folder maybe in your computer this is installed in a different directory so just be careful and then you go to the web and then you see this uh, tool called pg admin exe tool pg4 admin tool let me just check the icon you should see that somewhere here yes here it is pg admin for exe this is the tool it's there in the installation directory pg sql admin pg admin for beam directory this tool is there double click this is the tool which is starts and it will the moment it starts first it will ask you a master password so remember this during the setup process first time after you install the after you start the pg admin tool so usually it's present inside this directory so in your installation directory somewhere in your c drive
we will use this tool, the path. So we'll be using this tool. So step number two will be we will open the tool and enter a master password. I would recommend to use password as welcome one blue caps so that you don't forget this. This is what I am also keeping right now. The password is welcome one w caps so that I will not forget this password. Remember, this is a local database. So as a developer, we can develop, design, test our end-to-end -end microservice in local machine before putting in i'm sure there are many questions in your mind anubhav uh, how do we do connectivity with cloud database do we have a similar database in the cloud in btp i will come to all of that when the right time comes yes so but for now important is we need to remove hard coding and connect to this local database so once you log in you can just enter your master password and then you see servers postgre database you see postgre database and in this we have the database postgre database and then you can see we have schemas and under schemas we have a public schema which is created by default and then we will have uh, all our uh, all our source code available in the system including all the objects so right now this database is purely empty it's a fresh installation guys i've done for you all as part of this uh, process so i have not added anything artificial or anything extra on top of it it's a fresh completely fresh database instance i've created for you this is what i've done by far in my uh, in my episodes so this database has almost nothing you can see there are no tables table is empty there's nothing so we will be now transforming our application which will eventually create a table so we will not directly work with database this is just a tool to show you how database look like but eventually what will happen is our tables will get created in this database using gp java persistence api the moment we start our spring application talking to this database so this is what we have done i leave you here we are done with today's class